Okay, hopefully this is working. Uh, I don't think there's a reason it shouldn't be working. Am I currently live right now? We're just going to be going through the Odyssey. Odyssey has literally just come out. And, I mean, that's, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We're going to have a look at it. We're going to see how we, uh, how we think it's going to go. It's called Flashback. Um, and so, it's got Odyssey Directive Import Custom Rounds Initiate as our little little subheading there. Now, of course, the first time I stream an Odyssey, it's just gotta have this stupid map in it. I hate this map with a burning passion. I think some of you do too, because it is honestly one of the worst maps. I, I classify this map as an expert map. It's, it's just that annoying. But, um, if all's going well, hopefully the recording can see the chat room for the stream, and the stream should be live. So, we're just going to have a look into this Odyssey. Um, let's have a look at the, at the different maps first. So, we've got Cubism. Oh god, I remember this. I know exactly why this is called Flashback. Okay. Um, so essentially, have, have we done this before then? This exact thing? I don't think we've done this exact thing. Oh, no way. Is this... Flashbacks from multiple different Odysseys? Because this one's a flashback from one of them. I know that for a fact because there was only one round. But that one round encompassed like 40 rounds in in reality. Um, 6 to 80 hard spice islands. I don't know what that is, but they all seem to have these custom rounds, so maybe those will differ. But luckily we're not going to 90 at all. 85's the worst of it, and even that's not too bad. Um, once again, I hate this map of the Burning Passion. Uh, every other map seems quite nice though. See? See, even even the devs of this game know that this map is a pain. They only make you go to 70. Every other map, 80 plus. Oh, except for this one. We don't know what this one is, essentially. But, had a look at the rules. Let's have a look at the crew details. We can use all heroes. Oh, primary monkeys only. And support mm, towers, I guess. Uh, I guess we get the engineer for extra damage as well as the attack shooter. But, there doesn't seem to be any restrictions, powers we don't care about, we don't use them. Um, Alright, let's pick our team, shall we? Let's ditch all of these powers, because I don't care for them, I don't use them anyway. Uh, what hero should we pick? What hero is good for these maps? Let's have a look at the maps again. Um, almost all the maps have water. Hedge does not. Uh, so we're probably going to go for a land-based hero. Oban's looking like a pretty solid choice, but Bazaar is a pretty painful map, so uh, do we need to prep a hero specifically for Bazaar? I don't think so. I don't know which hero we'd even choose, but um, yeah, I think we'll be fine with Oban just in general. Plus he's one of the staples. Like, you really can't go wrong with him. Whoa, not easy difficulty. Hell no. Um, Alright, so we'll go with Oban. Really can't go wrong. Honestly, Sword is a pretty good pick for Bazaar, just because the middle of the map is pretty uh, short range. So if you can go with that, then by all means, it's not a bad choice. Um, let's see, we want our Crossbow Master because we do have our monkey knowledge to get a free monkey at the beginning of the game. So we're definitely... You know what? Since we're only doing primary monkeys and support, we're going to max out those dark monkeys. Um, definitely want a village. Luckily, it's not an extreme odyssey, so we only need the one. Um, do we care about engineers? I think we do. At least one of them. Maybe even attack shooter. Do we care about... It's not a tax shoot, it's a spike factory. I meant these guys. Um, we'll go for two bomb towers for recursive clusters to just obliterate everything. Um, put a spike... I was going to say spike factory. God damn it. I really need to stop getting those two confused. Okay. Um, boomerang monkey. Mayhaps. 
Um, we've got the engineer, we've got the village. Maybe a spike factory. I got the name right. And to finish off our lineup, maybe a glue gunner. Glue gun is a pretty solid fifth tier that could carry us quite far if we need it to. Um, is that what we want to go with? I think that might be what we want to go with. Let's throw in another... What do we want more of? Maybe another tack shooter. Did I get that right? I did, I did. Okay, so this is pretty much what I'm going to be going for. Let's see how we do. First map. Now, this is going to be a long stream, but uh, for the people viewing on YouTube, I will be breaking it up into part one and part two, as usual. But everybody that's currently watching the stream, which I'm pretty sure is no one at this point, but that's fine. We might pick up a few people later along the lines. Um, then I'll be doing all of this all in one go. So we'll start off with our Oban, and then we'll have a Dart Monkey maybe around here extra assistance. Let's get it started. So, if you don't know what this map and uh, essentially what the round one is a referral to, we did have an odyssey in the past where there was five maps per usual on hard difficulty and every single one of them just had one round written under the, the stats. But essentially it's not one round, it's like 40, maybe 60 or 80 rounds compressed into one. So you don't know when the map's actually going to end, but you just have to keep going and assume that you're going to 100. We've never had to go to 100 before, so you can safely bet that so long as you prep to go to 100, you'll beat the map. Alright. Let's get this boy upgraded. Sadly, we don't have a Ninja Alchemist to start off with. That would have been so much nicer. But... We have been given our limitations, and we must abide by them, sadly. Although, I do think the Engineer was a good choice to pick. Because if we can get like a, um, a whatchamacallits, what, what are they called? Uh, I want to say Plasma Monkey Fan Club, because that's exactly what it reminds me of. The, oh, what, what are they, what's it called? Go on, tell me. Sentry Paragon. I never would have gotten that. The plasma wasn't even in the word. Um, but if we can get a Sentry Paragon, if that was even the right words, um, then that'll be another solid fifth tier that we can throw in to mess up the balloons. Which will be even better. So, the worst part about this particular level in the Odyssey is you have to one-shot it. You have to complete this level or this map, I should say, in one go. Because if you hit that home button and come back, it's going to put you at the start of the round, and guess where that'll put you? At the start of the game. So, you have to get through it all in one go, and assume the worst when it comes to these custom rounds. So, we'll just see how we do, and take it from there, because Oban's a very solid hero. Why is, is he actually leveling up? Hold on. Is Oban leveling up at all? Oh god, no he's not. Okay, I'm glad we caught that quickly. Because heroes level up at the end of each round. Right. So essentially we can't rely on Oban for this first map. That's good to have caught early. So pick a hero that's got a good strong first ability. Oban's got a pretty decent one, I'm not going to lie. Um, it is a shame that it'll be the only ability he gets to use, but it's fine. We just need to recognise that our Dart Monkey's not going to last as long as we think, just because Oban's not going to last all that long. Holy crap, we aren't prepared for leads. Let's slow this down a little, shall we? Let's, 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 let's do something like... Oh, wait, no, Oban's got us covered for leads. We're fine, we're fine. Oh, God. But this is hectic in and of itself. So I want to put like a village here maybe. And then I'll have my bomb towers. One here. Put him on close so that he shoots often and nearby 
because the recursive clusters will do the rest of the damage. Okay. This is this is already hectic. I'm already remembering all the terrible things that came with this Odyssey. <laughs> Alright. Not too bad though. I do know that some of you will be in a different time zone. And so like, for me, this Odyssey comes out at 4pm. But for a lot of you guys, it'll come out at like 4am or 8am or something completely different. And so I don't expect many people to tune into this, but it's quite ideal for my time zone. Uh, plus eight hours, I believe. Alright, so let's get the recursive cluster. And the scary part is, it, unless you recognize a round, you're not going to know which round you're on. Because it's just going to say one. It's not going to tell you anything else. not going to tell you anything useful. There we go. Okay. I can't forget about that ability. That ability is going to save us so much pain. Alright. So the next thing I really want to get is a village with MIB, if possible. Regrow blocker. Got my little, my little village monkey running around. Village elf, I believe. Running around the map, just chilling. Making sure the village is in good shape. Um, but yeah, also getting this radar scanner will be solid upgrade too. But damn, this Odyssey is looking scary already. Just, just with this first map too. Okay. Explosives now can hit. Camouflage balloons. Oh god, there's a Moab. How do we do? I don't think we do well. Well, we do decent. Decently. We just have to really smack it down when it comes back. Can we do that? Are we capable of doing that? Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. Some things got through there, but that's okay. Oof. We're alright for now. We really need this MIB so that these bombs can really start shredding. If we can help it. They can already destroy camo balloons, which is fantastic. But we just need three more grand and we should be alright. And we just need to beef up a, a little bit more of our defense. Probably with attack shooter. And we'll be fine. Okay, okay. A little bit of a scare. A little bit of a scare. But we're okay. We've got our MIB. Phew! Okay. We're good. We're good. So now we just need to beef up our defense a little bit more. With another one. Don't mind if I do. Uh, put it on close once again. Okay. Okay. We can stop having mini heart attacks. We're all good. Okay, so now, once we get the second recursive cluster and bigger bombs, or heavy bombs, or whatever the next one is after that, um, we should be prepared for 63. There we go. And then, bigger bombs, heavy bombs. There it is. Very nice. Okay, I feel a lot safer now. So much safer. But I will still place things because it's my nature to feel paranoid as well. Alright. Get ourselves the overdrive here. And even faster shooting. Phew! We've got a lot of good towers up now. They're all fourth tiers, but they're all very, very strong. So hopefully we'll be able to get a crossbow master soon. If we can get a crossbow master then that, 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 that's the main goal, I guess you would say. Whew. Okay. But the pressure's, the pressure's been taken off. The pressure's been taken off. We're alright. We've got our recursive clusters. We've got Oban, sadly, at a level 3. We won't get any better because the round doesn't end, and if you don't know why. Uh, essentially, heroes gain XP that they've accumulated during the round at the end of the round. So... 
he'll gain all the XP from popping all these balloons, but since the round doesn't end, then he won't actually get given the XP. So, you know, if, if this ended at round 100, but we hit, if we for some reason could go into free play, he would get a crap ton of XP, probably getting him straight to level 20. But, sadly we won't even see that. Luckily though, it seems like we'll be able to get our crossbow master. Anytime now would be great. There it is. Okay, so crossbow, okay we're on round 59. Camo leads, we're on round 59. So this could be the final round right here. This could just be it, round 60. That's a nice break too, isn't it? You don't hear any balloons getting popped, you don't hear anything anything being shot, and it's ruined. Alright, is this the end? Hey, there you go. Okay, so first map, it says it's only one round, it goes to round 60, your hero does not level up, um, and is there anything else? I don't think there's much else. Oh, and if you try and go home and then come back in, you will restart the entire game of round one, or map one. So be careful of that. All right, our heroes can now level up. So whoever you chose as your hero is officially useful now. There we go. Similar start to last time. I'm gonna put the dart monkey over here just because when he hits crossbow master, I want his range to be of use. Okay, but there we go. Look at this guy. He's actually gonna level up now. Won't that be nice? Oh, he's prepping for the late game, putting him over here. Whew, okay. I must admit, that first map did give me a bit of a shock, because it's essentially called Flashback because of, well, because we've we've done a map like that before, where there's been one round, but it's actually like 60 rounds in one. I don't know what this map's Flashback will be, if anything. I'm hoping it's something kind. Kind and gentle. Wishful thinking? Maybe. I like to think of it as... Yeah, no, it is really just wishful thinking, isn't it? Alright, let's go get a crossbow. Put our dart monkey to work. And see how he does. Yeah, sure, we'll get him the quick shots now, why not? Very quick shots as well. Hey, there we go, that's what I was looking, looking to see. Just delaying them straight from the get-go. Alright. Oh, and if this does show up, uh, the chat screen should be right around up here. So it might cut off the name of the monkey and the pop count, but other than that, that was the that was the safest place to put it. Um Although I guess that does cover the round too. I didn't realise the round was up there. Oh, I'm I'm sure it's fine. I'll I'll give progress updates of what round we're on, and uh, surely you'll all forgive me for that, hopefully. And I guess if I have an upgrade screen open, it should push it over to the left a little bit, out of the chat view, I'd hope. Okay, but nice and cruisy now, nice and relaxing. Honestly, I feel like this Odyssey won't be too tough. It's just the limited amount of towers, and, of course, the different actual levels of the Odyssey. But all of them seem to be standard and reversed, nothing nothing crazy like double HP Moabs or alternate balloons round or things like that. So I'm thinking we're alright. And if I missed it and one of them was alternate balloons round or something, then we might be screwed. But, for the most part, we should be fine. Alright, let's put our first recursive cluster right around here. We want them down low so we can fit the village up top. In fact, why don't we place both of them now so that we're guaranteed to test out and see if the village fits before we put too much cash into all of this. Okay, yep, yeah, village fits nicely. Okay, let's go monkey business and monkey commerce because we got quite a few upgrades to get through and that'll save us some cash. Thank you. And then put this on close. Put you on close. It's 
start heading down the middle just to lock in our option so that we're not uh, we're not accidentally crossing with the top path. Okay, but we seem to be good for now. This map just seems normal. That's why I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared because it looks like a normal map and it feels like a normal map, but I know it's not. Surely something is weird about this. Don't know what it is yet, but I'm gonna find out. Um, the only problem here is that Oban's ability is good against the Moab itself, not necessarily the balloons that come out of it. So we're gonna wanna ramp these guys up to recursive cluster ASAP. Okay, this guy's pretty close. There it is, perfect. And then I think we're not going to go for the bigger bombs and the heavy bombs or whatever. We're going to start upgrading this guy straight away. Because I feel like this will increase damage faster than going for those two upgrades for that other guy. Alright, but now we can go for them. Just because I don't think we'll get recursive cluster in time anymore. So here's hoping that we're all good. Okay, so now I think we'll go for Radar Scanner. Put down another one of these as soon as we can. Oh, okay. So that's the flashback for this one. Um, cheeky mofos changed up the custom rounds on us. So I think previously for custom rounds, um, basically if, if you saw the word custom rounds in an Odyssey, it meant something's different, but it's the same throughout all the maps. It's the same difference. Um, but not in this one. Yay! So the first custom round was the round one. But it was actually 60 rounds. Uh, and the second custom one seems to be double Moabs. So not double HP Moabs, just double Moabs. So you're going to be seeing twice as many Moabs as you normally would. Up until round 80. So you got to really prep that defense. Okay. But we're figuring this out. We're getting there slowly. I remember this Odyssey too. So I see why it's called Flashback now, but it makes me feel like they're running out of ideas. Phew. At least in this Odyssey, that well, at least in these next four maps, including this one, we can actually, uh, you know, if we, if we see that we're about to mess up a round, we can actually stop the game and be like, hold up. Go home, restart that round, try it again. But for the first map, I've experienced the pain of attempting to do that and then finding out, oh hey, it restarts the entire map. Not fun. Oh, and we've got Oban's level 10 ability too. That's going to come in so clutch, especially for those extra Moabs. Oh, wait. Should I be going for the Crossbow Master here or should I go for MIB? Um, both of them will deal with 63 adequately. It's just black and zebra balloons that I'm worried about. But it seems fine. We'll see how we go. Because getting this is much better than getting MIB. But MIB is a lot cheaper, so... If we do start to lose, we will buy an MIB. But if we make it to Crossbow Master, we'll be perfectly fine. So we're not going to use our Wall of Trees just yet, because... That's just a waste, and this is a very solid backline defense. Even against Moabs. Like that. Very handy. Handy dandy. Alright. And then last second if we need to, we will we will break that wall of trees to get some extra cash. Okay, how are we looking? It's not filling up too much, is it? Okay, let's. Okay, let's use it. Get that extra cash, and boom. There we go. Safe. <laughs> Take that, balloons. Alright, so we're literally just chilling now. Uh, once we get the MIB, we'll even have, have an even better defense. Honestly, we really don't need it, but... Hey, we'll have it. And that's all that matters, really. Whew. Okay, so the MIB is coming up next. Then, after that, I don't really know what we'd go for. Maybe we'll put a tax shooter here or something. 
spike factory at the end of the map, maybe. There's our MIB. Our bombs can now pop black and zebra balloons, which is perfect. Get rid of this. We don't need it. And put this guy... Does the game seem loud to you guys? It seems loud to me, actually. Drop that down to around 10%. That's much better. Okay. I apologize if that was loud from the get-go, but it didn't seem all that bad to me. Until just now. I noticed I had to actively talk over it. There we go. Now we'll get a tax zone set up. Everything will be right in the world. Extra cash. Uh, spike factory in the back. Yep. Alright. Now we're literally just chilling. So, talk about my day. Talk about what's coming up for me tomorrow, which is going to be pain. Um, my day today. How's it been? Uh, we had two classes. Nutrition and... Oh god, what was the other one? Fitness appraisals. That was it. Fitness appraisals. So essentially like the pre-screening for your clients before they come and work out in the gym. Uh, if, of course, they're looking for a PT. If they're not looking for a PT, then they can just come out and work out in the gym, whatever. They've just got to sign the contract or whatever saying, like, I will not blame the gym if I hurt myself like a dummy. Um, anyway, enough about that. We had nutrition. We learned how to read food labels correctly. I learned something new today, which is pretty amazing. So you know how on a lot of products in the shops, you see a up to five star health and s health health rating or something like a five star health rating i think i've got i think wheat bix has like five stars and then like certain packets of chips are like two and a half stars or less um essentially i found out that that is not a um it's not a globally in the in in terms of food it's not a globally applicable rating so for example if you see two and a half star bag of chips and like a a three star chocolate bar or something you can't compare those directly and say that the chocolate bar is healthier for you than the bag of chips you can only use them to compare to similar products so for example um, cereals if you see like a, a three star cereal and then a two star cereal the three star is going to be healthier for you between those two cereals so you can't compare cereals to like chocolate or cereals to something else that is not cereal. You have to compare cereals with cereals, chocolates with chocolates, uh, muesli bars with muesli bars, all that jazz. And I did not know this. I thought you could just freely compare whatever you want because that's what the star rating was for. It just gave you a general overview of how healthy an item is, but it is not true. Also, the health star rating, according to my lecturer, is a little bit flawed. I've also looked this up, and I, 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 I agree, because I'm pretty sure the health star rating does not take artificial sweeteners into account, and so there could be a crap ton of artificial sweeteners bumping up the sugary content of the uh, actual product, but since it's not plain sugar, and it's an artificial sweetener instead, uh, it doesn't count, it doesn't change the rating, relatively healthy snack or whatever, but uh, you need to, you need to keep, keep an eye out open for that. Um, but, we're about to get some spiked mines up in here that are going to help out a hell of a lot. Actually, they won't, because the front half of this map is probably supported just fine on its own. Alright, and Moab's gone, BFB's also gone, honestly guys, the crossbow monkey's just one of my favourite towers, and these two, having two recursive clusters is basically like a mini crossbow master, like it just does insane amounts of damage, you do need an MIB for them to be truly effective, uh, or you need to have striker jones so that they can actually pop black and zebra balloons. Or at least, sort of pop them. I know his upgrade doesn't let them pop black and zebra balloons immediately, but over time, yes. Alright. 
I don't really know what else to pick at the moment. We don't really need anything more, do we? We've got ourselves two pretty good five fifth tier tanks of a tower. And then we've got two brilliant fourth tiers up front, one brilliant fourth tier at the back, and a pretty dope third tier supporting our front row monkeys. So, here's our last dope of... dope? Here's our last dose of double Moabs. Not double HP, just double Moabs. And, hey, there you go. My, my tax shooter actually got some work in there. All right. So this is where I'll split up the video into two parts, so YouTube viewers, I'll see you in the next one. Everybody else, let's keep going.